Hello, this is Techidooldo and today we are outside and having a look at this AVA P80 Master pressure washer. So this is the unit itself, but we are going to start with the box. And the box has some interesting and useful information about the product that we need to take into consideration before buying this. You can see here are the use cases for this uh, apparatus uh, compared to the other ones, but you can use this for whatever. Uh, it includes a 10 meter hose on the reel on the unit itself. It's the P80 model, uh, almost top of the line. <laughs> it produces 160 bar of pressure. It uses 600 liters per minute, not per hour. And the most importantly, you need a 16 amp fuse uh, on your electrical socket. If uh, you don't have this, you need to maybe you choose a lower model because you're going to break the fuse if you go in if you try to use this if you don't have a 16 amp fuse uh, here we can see what's inside the box but i'm going to show you okay let's show you what's inside the box so let's start with this long thing here uh, this is a telescopic lens i think it's called and it's not much to it it has a button here which you can press and if you twist this part here, not the green part, but the black part, we can extend it. So this is great for, uh, especially for the long persons in the world. They don't uh, break your back trying to use this <laughs> machine. Uh, so this end here goes into the wand. And this here is where you put the attachments. And we also get an extension for the hose. I haven't unpacked this yet, so I don't, I'm not sure how long it is. Maybe it's five or 10 meters, but for the size of it, I think it's five meters. So yeah, you get an extra hose. So the next thing we get is this foam cannon. So this has a built-in reservoir for your soap and also some measurements here. We can see from two to 700 milliliters if the camera picks it up. So this is where you mount it to your lens or your wand. And we can also adjust it by turning this gray part, as indicated in this circle here. You can see it from the smiley face to a surprised face, I think. <laughs> so that's the minimum and maximum. And we get this, which is great for cleaning your car. It's like a microfiber soft thing. You just connect this to the lens or your wand and you start using it with some soap. Uh, next is uh, this part here. So this is really great to uh, use, especially here in the northern countries where we use a lot of salt on the roads in the winter. So this is great for when you want to rinse uh, mud or dirt or uh, yeah, salt off underneath your car. So I really like this attachment. And the next part here is just an extension part just a fixed uh, fixed length so same as the lens basically this is because of the wand or pistol and um, this goes to the attachments <laughs> the next thing we get is this so this is, goes into the water inlet to the machine and this is a filter so it filters the water coming into the machine so we don't ruin the the pumps or anything so it has a replaceable filter inside here. You just pull it out and you can put in a new one. So this is, a, this is made, of, uh, made of aluminum, I think, and it's glass here. So the next part is this big guy over here. So this is perfect when you are cleaning your uh, outdoor wood floor uh, on your balcony or terrace or stuff like that. So this uh, just spins around real fast. And it's very nice to use on the wood because the, it isn't that high pressure. So you get off all the dirt off, but you don't ruin the wood. And you can also adjust the pressure here from minimum to maximum. So next part here I want to show you is a part I really like. So this is um, kind of like a smaller version of what I just showed you. It just has one water jet inside here, which isn't as as wide but um, it has this uh, like a cover so when you are moving across the stones here you don't have dirt flying everywhere so you have a bit more control of the 
the other stuff you clean. So this is really nice. And then we have the smaller parts here. So this one I really, really like. Uh, this is um, an adjustable one. It has two jets here. And they are different uh, width of the water jet. So one of them is like quite tight and one of them is wider. And you can choose between using one of them or both at once. The next thing is this guy here. So this has a moving part inside. It's like a little white thing. And when you're using it, it goes like it spins around and it makes like a cone. So that's cool. <laughs> and then we have four different jets here. So these are essentially the same, only as you can see here, we can see what the degree of the the water jet will be like. So we have from 15, which is a really narrow one, uh, 25 degrees, 40 degrees, all the way up to 60 degrees. Depending on what you want to clean, this is great to have. And also I use the manual. <laughs> so out of all the accessories we got with this uh, kit, there are something I've never used. I've never used these four uh, jets because we got this one which makes makes it possible to choose between two widths or both at the same time. So why would I need this? And also, I don't want to use a pressure washer with the, this kind of thing on my car. I use a sponge or a microfiber cloth manually. I don't want to use the lens and everything. Uh, so for me, I don't care about this. And also I don't need extra hose because I have really long water hose to the unit itself and the unit itself has more than long enough uh, uh, cable on it. So yeah, I've never touched this or never used this. So, but uh, the reason I bought this package because it was on sale and then why would I buy the same unit but with less include the stuff when I can get all the extra stuff and never use it. <laughs> so in this video we are going to clean these concrete slabs over here and <laughs> and for that we are going to use these accessories. I'm going to use this one and also the adjustable uh, jet one together with the telescopic lens. I'm not going to use any of the other accessories in this video but if you're interested in in me showing everything just uh, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video for you. So now let's have a look at the machine. So as stated before this is the AVA P80 and the first thing you will see is this drum so they call this the follow me drum because it's it can turn around <laughs> And also when you walk, it's really easy to pull out the cord. And while talking about this, if you see here, we can see this green button. Are you able to see it from all over there? So this, you can push this back and forth to lock this so it doesn't turn to the sides as much. So now it's just a little bit. And now it goes much more freely. Uh, we'll show this later. Also, this uh, this handle here, you can adjust the height with it with this button here, so you can pull this up, which is really great. Great if you're a tall person again, so they have thought of you also. And if you see this button down here, this is to adjust this bar over here. So you may want to take this uh, in if you are transporting it and while you're using it it's great to have it out because it gives it a lot more stabilization um, also on the side here and as you can see also here you have a hole and over there you can put the accessories here so you can put the, the foam can part over here and the telescopic lens here and so much more and also on the back side here we can put up the three attachments here. So if you're using only three of them, you can have them all there. So it's really great. 
so this here is what Eva calls the zero force. This wand has a really easy trigger to both, both push in and hold. You can see this black part that comes out here. It's easy enough to hold in with just a finger. So that makes it really easy for when you are using it, uh, this pressure washer for a long time. And also if you are exper ever experiencing a leak from this pistol, we have a video of uh, how to fix it in the video description down below. And before I forget, this is the power switch. <laughs> and this is also the water inlet. So this is where you put the filter on before using it. So then I will just fetch all the attachments and we will start washing. Yeah. <laughs> Ja, men bara fan tittar det då. So now that we are done with this section, I want to give you my thoughts about this machine. Well, this machine did this job like it was nothing. I'm sure that it, it can do much harder projects than just cleaning this. Uh, if you want to clean your house before painting it or whatever job it is, I'm sure that it can handle it. I'm, I've had this machine for two years now. Yeah and I mostly used it for cleaning my car um, but also cleaning the, the stone slabs and the area around but I haven't done this section before and that why, that's why it was <laughs> really bad uh, it even handled uh, moss on the stones really easy uh, using first this to take off the worst part but I finished it off, as you saw in the video, with the adjustable uh, jets here. I put it on the narrowest ones, so it was it was the hardest hardest cleaning possible for it. And yeah, the moss just flew away, so <laughs> that was really great. And during the two years I had this machine, I only had a problem this year. It was my fault for storing it incorrectly, so. Uh, I used it earlier this spring to clean my car and I just stored it in a garage. They didn't think about it will get cold again. 
but suddenly we had this really cold weather here and of course it went to below zero and there was some water in the two, uh, pipe inside here and it broke. But as I, said, as I said earlier in the video, we have a link in the description below to the video how to fix that leak. Other than that, all the accessories and everything has worked like a charm. But I read from 2022, they are going to only produce the ones with the aluminum pipe inside, not the plastic ones that broke on mine. So I guess the future ones will be more durable than this one. And you can also get a lot of spare parts from their website and the prices there are very reasonable. But one important thing uh, about not just this pressure washer, but all is that when you're done using it, you should always clean all the accessories and everything before stowing it away. Uh, you don't have to use the power washer for that, but you should just use your normal hose and try to take up an eye off at as much dirt as possible on the parts. And also, uh, I want to show you here, especially on the part over here. So between all the grooves here, when you're using the pressure washer, all types of sand and grit and everything will come between every, <laughs> everywhere on the parts and if you don't clean that away right away it will get stuck and it will be almost impossible to get the part from uh, from each other so do that give it a rinse before stowing it away and also before stowing it away if it's cold you should also always make sure that you get away all the water from inside. Take the, um, the lances and everything and just shake it to get all the water out. And also make sure that the machine is out of water so you can turn it around and uh, yeah, just try to make sure that it has at least amount of water as possible inside before stowing it away. And of course it helps stowing it in a room that's not getting too cold um, I'm never gonna store this in the garage again, so <laughs> I'll try to put it in a heated room so we don't have to worry about that ever again breaking. So yes, in conclusion, in the two years I had this machine, I had a, just a great experience all the way. When the parts break, it was easy to find either on their website or at the stores that I sell this. So that's really great. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and also consider subscribing to our channel. We have a goal this year to reach 1000 subscribers. We would really appreciate if you would like to help us achieve that goal and yeah have a good one